Um, first of all, you have to know that this functionality is already available since uh, the BI 403 service pack three, if I'm right. And in service pack four, we continue to improve it. And what uh, Patrick sh shared with you today is the fact that uh, the OData URL can pass two, in, two new information. I'm not going to demo it today, but it's, it's good to remind it in the, in the, in the, in, for the demo. The first new parameter you can pass to an OData URL is the fact that you can ask when you invoke this OData URL, you can ask for the refresh of the WebE document. This is important because it means that wherever you're going to use this OData URL, if, for example, I'm going to use it within Excel, if you use it in Excel and you click refresh the OData URL from Excel, it will go into WebE and ask WebE to refresh itself. Without this new parameter, Excel will just take the data stored in WebE as is. With this new parameter, you ask WebE to refresh Excel, to go to the database and get new data in WebIt Engines. That's the first thing. And the second thing, which is really useful because every time you use a WebIt Engines document, you have prompt. You can decide to pass prompt to the all data URL, which means that once you will be into, uh, into Excel and you use this new parameter to define the prompt, your user in Excel will be prompted to fill in the prompts. And once again, this is quite important if you want to restrict or minimize the amount of data you're going to bring into Excel from web engines and even from your database. Okay, this is, this is being reminded. Let's have a look at the demo. Uh, I would like to move a little bit this side here. Yeah. This is a web document that I have created previously. And uh, just to be clear, uh, the entry point of the old data URL is a web intelligence document, but also the new data mode, which means, which is great that all the things you do now in the web intelligence data mode, if you go here, all the transformation you will have to, this, to put in place, for example, if you decide to take these two cube to combine them, uh, let's do an append, huh? and create, you get a new virtual cube with much more data and transformations that you can apply on top of this cube. This cube can be shared as an all data web service that you can use in third party application. So that's the first entry point, which means that the person that will have the responsibility to generate the all data can do it firstly in the all data mode, which means that it gets the data from multiple data sources, emerge and combine them, enrich them, generate a final virtual cube here that will answer a business question for an end user. And it can share it via a web document to create a new report. That's what we encourage all of you to do. But if you want to do it via Excel, generate all data web service for the newly created cube here. Okay, that's the first entry point. The second one is directly inside the web intelligence document. Once you get your data clean, you clean microcube, you create something, you click on a table. It's, and this, this is really easy, right? Right click on the table. Uh, sorry. Click, right. Here we go. You just have to access this. Copy link for all data web service. You click URL copy to the clipboard. You go into your favorite third party tool. Let's say this is Excel. You go into data. You choose get data from other sources from all data feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still empty. Uh, yes, and I wonder why. Demo effect, like you said. <laughs> you paste the URL. You get. You 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 get. You got. Validate. And. Well, right now it's uh, the demo effect, so no worries about it. 
Um, I don't know, you know, while you're, okay, here it is. Here we go, here we go. So here you have a choice. Either decide to load the data directly into Excel or uh, Bruno mentioned it, your entry point for the business, for the <laughs> Microsoft Power thing, uh, Word is Power Query. So you click, you click on transform data and here you will be inside Power Query which is if I'm right, the entry, an entry point for Power BI. Yes. I'm not going, I'm not going to use and demo Power BI. I can't, but here you go. You get the data from Webby inside Power Query. And then you can do whatever you want. So now I decide to close and load the data into Excel. Here we go. I will get the data directly in my Excel spreadsheet. And everything is connected, right? My entry point was, either the cube that I created in data mode or my table. So here I get exactly the same table, in, but, but in Excel, right? And if I want to refresh, that's it. Without the parameter I mentioned previously, when you click on refresh here, you just get the updated version of this table, right? But if you pass the parameter refresh equal yes, this is as if you ask Webby to refresh against the database on top of which this table is created. So let's do some modification of this table uh, because I would like to show you how it works. Whatever you do, for example, I decide to remove, to update this table, remove some dimension, apply, remove some measures, I remove discount, I remove margin. Uh, I've created a nice uh, variable on this data set. I just show you this variable is based on sales revenue minus margin plus discount. Okay, this is really something simple and trivial. I decide to use this variable inside my data set here. Apply. Here you go. My variable test is here. I save. Good. And now let's go back into Excel. If I click on refresh, guess what? Here we go. Your Excel file has been updated. Dimensions that I have removed in the web table have been removed, measure, same thing. And your variable and custom variable are, of course, part of this, uh, of, the, of, of the import into Excel. So that's the way it works. And uh, you can use the OData URL in any third party tool that can understand. Uh, the old data flow generated by WebIT engines, right? Uh, you can even use Webby to consume this old data. This is a, a possibility because you, we have an old data connector directly into WebIT engines here because, uh, and I will end the demo here, we would like Webby to be able to read in the same way any kind of, here we go, web service, any kind of old data being generated by the way the way around the way around other third party application. So today Webby can consume an old data generated by Webby. Well, this is a starting point. Later, Webby, thanks to this old data web service, will be able to consume classic old data flow generated by other third party application. Okay, I hope. It was clear. Oh, I forgot to mention, to achieve that, this import of data from Webby into Excel, uh, you have to use credential. Uh, guess what? This is not uh, open like this. Uh, I did not show you, but uh, there is a step where the first time you try, it will provide you, I don't have the credential. You have to enter basic credential and enter a business object user and password in order to connect to business objects and get the data. Mm -hmm. of course. Uh, and use one business objects uh, declared user per, I would say, user that's going to use this kind of solution. Okay, that's it, Bruno. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Gregory. And that was pretty obvious.